in the heart of Birmingham's bustling streets, beneath the surface of everyday life, thrived an underworld empire, orchestrated by a man known as Big Timer. But behind the facade of a gym manager, Rafiq Mohammed wielded power in the criminal underworld, running a heroin smuggling operation that would eventually lead to his downfall. Rafiq Mohammed, a seemingly ordinary man, managed Rampage Fitness in Bordersley Green. Yet behind closed doors, he orchestrated the importation of heroin, aptly nicknamed White Gold, from the shores of Spain. As the money poured in, Rafik's lifestyle mirrored that of a kingpin, with luxury cars and extravagant vacations becoming the norm. As the money flowed in the crime family, Boss splashed out on luxury holidays and cars, including an Audi Q7 with the registration plate B055BT standing for his nickname Big Timer. And crime was a family business. His brother Shafiq Mohammed acted as his deputy alongside garage repair worker Mohammed Nasir. They used telecoms worker Ibra Udin and Ravinder Matu as their money men to launder their cash, while kebab shop boss Juma Aziz and travel agent Mohammed Rashid acted as couriers. Yet the gang was brought to justice by the serious and organised crime unit of West Midlands Police, who used surveillance, forensics, CCTV and phone technology to nail the crooks. On February 12, 2015, Rafik was seen meeting Odin at a restaurant in Ladypool Road, Birmingham. Aziz later arrived before driving off with a bag. Traffic officers later stopped his car in the Winston Green area. Inside was a JD sports bag containing £60,000 in cash, neatly bundled with multicoloured elastic bands. Then, on March 21st, 2015, Audi Spider RA owner Udin met Rashid at Rampage Fitness Gym. Police later stopped Rashid in the Alum Rock area and found a next carrier bag containing £50,000 in cash. On July 29, 2015, police spotted Rafik and Matu making an exchange in Hangleton Drive. Matu was later stopped in the Bilston area and had a bag with £10,000 cash in it. A police raid at his home discovered a further £40,000 in cash under a wardrobe. On August 20, Rafik was seen in Lee End driving a Turan and met Mark Calvert. Detectives later stopped Calvert and found he had a kilo of heroin on him, with a street value of more than £20,000. He later pleaded guilty to possession of Class A drugs with intent to supply and was jailed for eight years. Police finally swooped on the brothers on October 16, 2015, where they were spotted carrying large bags and holdalls in and out of a safe house property in Lea End. Rafiq was detained first and was found with a small quantity of heroin and crack, but a search of the flat uncovered heroin and dealing equipment. Pieces of brown tape wrappings were also discovered with the word Oro Blanco, Spanish for white gold. The packaging was believed to have come from six packages of drugs, each weighing half a kilo, and with the fingerprints of Shafiq and Nasir on them. A raid at Rafiq's home found a large quantity of cash, a money counting machine, heroin and multiple mobile phones next to his bed. Shafiq and Nasir went on the run to Thailand and Pakistan, but police were waiting for them when they returned to the UK. Rafiq Mohammed, from Hangleton Drive, Sparkhill, was sentenced to 10 years for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and money laundering. Shafiq Mohammed, from Jacob Place, Edgebaston, was jailed for six years for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Mohammed Nasir, from Downey Close Sparkbrook, was jailed for six years for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Ibra Udin, from Wilton Road, Sparkhill, received two years for money laundering. Ravinder Matu, from Bait Street, Wolverhampton, received two years for money laundering. Juma Aziz, from Clarence Road, Hansworth, received an eight-month sentence, suspended for two years for money laundering. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on more captivating true crime stories like this one. Your support helps us bring you more compelling content. Thank you for watching.